Hey everyone, it's Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, independent designer with Chalkator. As you guys come on, please make sure you say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. If you are catching me live on Facebook, you're going to see the big red live box in the upper left hand corner. That means we can chat live right here. And if you don't see that little box, that means you're catching me on the replay. Make sure you give me a hashtag replay. If you're catching me on YouTube, my friends, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Oh my goodness, I have lots of goodies coming up. Oh, I can't even wait to share things with you. And the greatest compliment you could give me is a sprinkle. I would love it if you'd sprinkle this video and share the love. Hi everyone, happy Monday, happy May 3rd. You know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is May the 4th be with you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying because I know Matthew's going to tell me, but today is Monday the 3rd, so I'm super excited to be here with you. Like I said, when you come on, say hello to us. Let us know where you're watching from. If you are new, let me know by putting a number one in the comments. We always love to welcome our new followers. And you guys, my name is Jennifer Jones. Hello, Tanya. Hello, Tina. Thank you, my ladies, for tuning in. Super excited to have you here. Again, my name is Jennifer Jones. I am an independent designer with this really amazing company called Chalkator. So a lot of these cute things that you see around me were created using Chalkator products. We are really, really quick. Hello, Mama Sandy. Love you. Love you, love you. Let me throw this up on my screen really quick. Hello, Miss Ashley. Thanks for tuning in, my friend. What is Chocator? So we are a DIY home decor and crafting company. Hello, Marbelle. Hello, my friend. Um, and you won't find our products anywhere else except through designers like myself. We have these super amazing silkscreen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology Chalk Paste and we have inks. We have all the tools that you need. We have surfaces to choose from, but this can be done on wood, chalkboard, glass, tin, canvas, cardstock for my scrapbookers, whiteboard, t-shirts, dish towels, pillowcases. The list can go on and on. And I actually have one of my t-shirts on today. So I'll show that to you here in a second. Hello, Miss Jeanette. But the greatest thing that I can offer to you is a DIY home decor business opportunity. My friends, this is one of the most amazing opportunities in the market. We are very on trend. We are looking to grow designers and we're super, super excited about our opportunity and things to come. If you're interested in learning more about that, whether you want to do it full-time, part-time, as a hobby, a side hustle, an extra income, I would love to welcome you to watch a short video to learn more about it. Just put a hashtag join in the comments and I will get you all of that information. So listen, I am so excited. Look what I got in today. Oh, I got my stars in today. They just came today and I'm like, oh, oh, I got to go live. I got to go live. Sorry, my friend's taking a drink of water. So our stars are available. They are in stock and they come in a set of three. So excited about these. So let me get this open. And you know what else I wanna tell you? Listen, when you get these, okay, so let me take these out. Do you see this little backer sheet right here? Don't throw this away. Don't throw this away because we're gonna do a project with this later on down the road, okay? But. I just want to say, keep these backer sheets. Listen to that. I mean, that's sorry, baby. That's just me. My dog looked at me like, who's there? These are awesome. They're a nice, thick consistency. And I'm telling you, we're going to do something with that later on. So just save them till later. Let me put that aside. Let me get my fuzzing cloth and let me get my stars. But look at these. Number one, these are awesome double-sided stars. They are definitely a, a shelf sitter if you want to do a shelf sitter. There's going to be so many things you could do with these stars. And honestly, even not just for the 4th of July, I got my paste and transfers today too. Oh my goodness, you got everything. Yay. That's so awesome. I'm so excited. 
Okay, so we are going to use a little bit of sandpaper today for our design. Hello, Miss Lori. Thank you for tuning in. Like I said, if you are new and you were watching, let us know you're here. Let us know where you're watching from. We always love to welcome our new designers. So I am going to be using our stars. I'm going to use a little sandpaper, our transfer cutter scissors. I've got our squeegees, our stir sticks, and we are going to be using chalk paste today. And I'm going to be using cadet white and candy apple red because I'm gonna do these patriotic with that amazing transfer that we came out with. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. This is huge. This is an E size transfer. Look at this thing. I mean, can you see that up there? Look at that, hold on. Look how big this transfer is. Oh, and I gotta show you my shirt anyway. Look how big this is. So there's so many things that you're gonna be able to do with this transfer. And truthfully, not just on these stars, like you could use this on a surface as well. You're just waiting on your inks. Cool, cool, awesome. They will be coming soon, hopefully. They will be there hopefully this week. But here's the deal, my friends. This is a t-shirt that I did, okay? So this is actually using our inks like Sandy was just talking about, where you could do t-shirts, dish towels, pillowcases, fabrics, things like that. This is our ink, and when you're done, you heat set it, and then it's permanent. You can wash it, dry it, whatever you want, and it is a permanent design. So I love our inks, but okay, enough of that. You don't want to see any more of that. Let's get back to our project. So on the back of all of the transfers, just so you all know, there are instructions back there for you, because like I had mentioned, these are reusable, and this thing is huge oh my goodness I need like more space my friends I need more space I am running out of space and just craziness craziness look at these look at these surfaces I got I have to show these to you look at these things look how cute these surfaces are look at that oh they're huge huge I can't even fit them in the video it's crazy okay so let me take my transfer cutter scissors and I'm just going to cut apart this transfer because obviously you're not going to be able to use the transfer like this and that is also what the cut lines are for in the transfers. So you're just going to cut these apart and I had an idea of what I was going to do. So I know I'm using that one and I know I'm using... Let me just cut this apart down here. Hello, Miss Gloria. How are you, my friend? Hello, hello. Cut this apart. We're doing some stars today. The cutouts are in. I am so excited for these because I, honest to goodness, I just have so many things in my head, even for like country decor, you know, not necessarily 4th of July. Like, I think there's just so many things that we will be able to do. Right, let me cut this apart for the big guy. Okay, so these are the three pieces I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be doing this on the big one, this on the medium-sized one, and this on the little one. So now, hmm. What I'm gonna do is actually paint the stars, but I didn't think of how I wanted to paint that. So this one, I think I'm gonna do this one on the white star, okay? So I think that's gonna stay white. So I'm gonna set this aside for just one second because I'm actually going to paint the other two stars with the chalk paste, okay? So let me get all my chalk paste open our new creamy dreamy every color we have in stock right now is all creamy dreamy my friends all creamy dreamy chalk paste it is amazing and by the way if you are a past designer like if you were a designer in the past and you're thinking like you know what i think i really want to get back into chalk tour my friends, we have an amazing deal going on for any designer that wants to come back. If you are in the U.S., it's $19.99 to rejoin, or you can buy a starter kit either way. And if you're in Canada, it is free to rejoin 
And again, if you would choose to buy a starter kit, that is up to you. So message me if you are interested because that is super cool. Now, if you're a brand new designer, let me tell you something. That startup kit is simply, simply, yeah, isn't that cool? It's awesome that they're offering that. But that startup kit, I am telling you, has all the latest designs in it, all the latest colors in it. You totally want that kit as a new designer. It has everything you need and it's awesome. So let me know. Like I said, just put that hashtag join in there. All right, so here's what we're gonna paint. I'm gonna do this in red, this one in red, and this one in blue, okay? So all I'm gonna do is take, do you see these little sponge brushes? You can get these super, 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 super cheap, even at the dollar store. All I'm gonna do is take my little spongy brush and I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of water and then I'm going to dip it into my chalk paste, okay? And literally, I'm just painting. And I have way too much water. So now I have too much water on there and I need to find my paper towels. Mm -hmm. And my paintbrush is gonna fall in the water and I don't want it to. Ugh. Okay, hold on a second. I got way too much water on there. Too, too much. It's fine though, we can fix it. Squeeze that off. Dab this out just a little bit. Way too much water. You gotta watch when you're using water and you wanna paint. Like it's good for water coloring, so to speak, but if you want like a nice coating on there, you want it to be a little bit drier. That's a little better. Little bit better. And again, I can go over it. I can make it darker. And it's just like painting. That's all it is. I mean, how fun would this even be for kids for the 4th of July on a picnic? I mean, seriously, they would probably love this. Just having fun painting stars. But I think these will be awesome as a shelf sitter or on a picnic table. And I just love that blue. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous blue. Okay. So, putting that right in the water over there, my little sponge. And I am gonna need to dry this, but I'm gonna set it aside because I need to do my other one as well. Let me go like this. My phone is just beeping away today. Beeping, beeping away. I don't know if you heard that. Okay, and then this one, what did I say? We're doing red, right? We're gonna do this one in red. And again, same process. Get a little bit of water there. Look at that, see? Tiny little bit of water works so much better. Just a tiny little bit. And I just like these brushes. Even when I, like I, I'm gonna be honest, when it comes to painting a house, do you like painting a house? I do not like painting. I hate doing corners. Like it is not me, especially doing like the taping off. Mm -mm. No, no, I get very impatient. Not a good painter. Look at that. Look how awesome that works. Oh my goodness. And then at the end, when we're done, we're going to distress these and sand our corners. Because I just like distressed. And you could have even have done this in, I could have done this in even a darker red, like maybe the scarlet. But these are going to be 4th of July. So I kind of want that red to pop like 4th of July. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And again, those brushes are reusable, so I'm just putting that to the side as well, okay? So I'm gonna let them dry off to the side. I'll probably hit them with my dryer here in a second, but until then, let's go ahead and do our other one. See how easy this is? Super easy DIY home decor. I think y'all listen to me talk more than anything, anything, okay? one we are just going to do actually let me put these off to the side these were just this one here we're just going to do in this really awesome pattern my friends I am getting chalk paste all over me it's hysterical 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 oh my goodness okay here we go first step we are going to do is right on the back of our transfer. So this is the star, we're gonna say this, we're just gonna do this as number one. 
because you know what? I'm going to number these instead of writing their names on the back. It's just easier when you have multiple transfers. So I'm just numbering those. And the reason we do that is because when you're done with these, you put them in water, you clean these up with a Clorox wipe, you let them air dry, and they go back on your carrier sheets so that you can reuse them over and over again. Okay? So removing it from its carrier sheet, usual steps, you all know that I do. Removing that from its carrier sheet, placing it right on my fuzzing cloth, and I'm going to fuzz this up a little bit. Just a tiny little bit because it's a new transfer. It feels kind of sticky. So I'm just going to fuzz this up. I'm going to do it a couple times. A couple times. Don't forget to say hello as you're coming on. Let us know where you're watching from. We always love to welcome you. If you are a new follower, make sure you put a number one in the comments. We always love to welcome, welcome. And then this is all you do, my friends. You just place this right here on the surface, however you want it. Okay, just like that. Get it where I want it, there. And then smooth it out so there's no air bubbles in that silk screen. Okay, easy peasy breezy. Now let me tell you something. I am actually going to get my multi-purpose tools for this one because I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to do like red, blue, red, blue, red, blah, blue, <laughs> red, blue, red, blue, red. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this and see if we get it right. But I am gonna use the multi-tool because it has got that little smaller edge and it'll be easier to do those. So let's see. Let's go red and red. This is gonna be a little tedious, I know, but it's okay. You guys have to stay till the end to see the results. Don't be leaving me without coming to see the end of the results. Cause that's just not right. Not right, my friends, not right. Okay. Anybody do anything fun this weekend? Anything going on that you did that was fun? I know in some places it was raining. And my mom said it was cold. Not really cold, but not that warm back home in PA. Not as warm as she would like anyway. Doing so, da, 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 this part. This is my part. Let's see, concentration, concentration. This is where like some music would be awesome if you could play music without Facebook taking your video down. <laughs> but I can't do that. Play some red, white, and blue music would be awesome. This would be a fun workshop, my friends. Super, super fun workshop. Oh my gosh, get your friends together, right, and do this. How fun would that be? I miss doing workshops. I miss them. Okay, so we got all our red. Let's do our blue. Okay. Ooh, that looks so good already. I love red, white, and blue. I don't know about you guys, but I do love red, white, and blue. I think I said it on one of our, our live videos that we did my comforter in our bedroom is actually um red white and blue it's americana style so i just love red white and blue very country-ish looking which i love okay let's go let's go this would even be a cute thing for a t-shirt this would be really cute on a t-shirt Oh, I pulled a little bit of red. Eee, let's try to stay away from that. Ah! Don't touch that. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. Did you see my blob? It's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. I did. That was a big old blob. The other nice thing about our new chalk paste, my friends, the new creamy dreamy paste, it does give you a little bit longer to do a design which is, we all know, amazing. Amazing. Okay, here we go. 
Are we ready to see what this looks like? Let's pull it up. Hello, Miss Nikki. Welcome. I got my stars in today. I'm so excited. Top to bottom, left to right, never corner to corner for your transfers. <gasps> Do you see it? Oh, my goodness. It is so cute. Oh, okay. I just need to get a grip on it. Look at that. Putting my transfer right in my water. Oh, my goodness. That is adorable. That is so stinking cute. Do you love the stars? Yay, look, everybody's loving this one. Give me some hearts, my friends. Give me some hearts and love and kisses and likes and whatever else you wanna say. I don't even know what else I wanna say. All right, so let's dry this. Let's dry this one up. And that one I'll put aside. Maybe we could dry it too so that we can because we're going to have to sand these. Like I said, I want to distress them. Yours should be there Wednesday. Yay! I'll tell you what. These are the bomb. You all need to get yourself a set of stars. Four reels. I got a little bit of water on this thing. Oh, that makes me mad. Oh, my light's up there flashing away. Just drying this up. Okay, so here's a question. Since we're going with 4th of July today, we're doing our stars being patriotic. Let's talk. What is your favorite 4th of July food? Do you, or like, are you a potato salad? Are you just hamburgers? Are you fruit salad? What? What is your favorite? Hot dogs? Oh, excuse me, hot dogs? Dessert, maybe you like that pretzel dessert, which someday I swear I'm gonna make that because that is like one of my favorites and I've never made it in my life. Ribs. Oh my gosh, Tina, I didn't even think of ribs. Yes, ribs. Oh, didn't even think of that. Totally didn't even think of that. Our red one's definitely a little, still a little wet. Try to dry these as much as possible. Nikki says ribs too, man. Y'all, I didn't even think of ribs. Totally didn't even think of it. Yeah, like I, I love 4th of July food. I love picnics. Fireworks, right? Pea salad. That sounds yummy because I love peas and that just made me think of my sister-in-law introduced me to this, that coleslaw with, um, it's coleslaw with frozen peas and sometimes you put a little bit of almond slice in it and then you use the ramen noodles brisket and baked oh baked beans oh hamburgers and hot dogs my fave one of my faves okay all right i'm gonna put this other one aside for right now as well and actually let me get a little bit of my paper towel here and I'm going to actually wax it just a little bit in between my layer. Just a tiny bit. So this is our Chocotour wax, by the way. This is our Chocotour wax. We sell this as well. What I love about our wax, my friends, no smell. No smell. So I'm just going to wax this up a little bit. And this way... It helps protect that bottom layer. You don't have to do it, but I'm just gonna do it anyhow. We'll do it for the red one too. Okay, now we're going to use the little star and we're gonna do this in the red and white, right? Absolutely. Let's keep it going with the red, white, and blue thing. So fuzzing it up just like before. And I'm actually gonna use my small squeegee and the multi-tool again. 
So I'm just fuzzing this up. Okay, I'm gonna place this right on my surface. These would be really cute in a centerpiece on a table. That would be super cute as well. Like these would make a cute 4th of July centerpiece, especially if you had one of those uh, farmhouse wooden bowls. I know I used to have one and it's probably out in the garage, but that's okay. But I think that would be very, very cute as well. Okay, so again, just smooth it out so there's no air bubbles. And then here, so let me see, red, white, blue. All right, so we're gonna start with red. No, hold on, red. Okay, well, I'm just gonna start with red. I can't figure it out in my head what I wanna do. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Going red, white, and blue, but it's not gonna do that because my star is blue. It's all good. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. So, so cute. And then my small squeegee for my white. This is gonna be adorable. Just think of the things you're gonna be able to create with stars. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so we got our red, white, and blue. Look at that, look how cute he is. Oh my goodness, look, look how it comes together. My friends, you need yourself some stars, okay? Last one, let's do our red. Again, let me just make sure this is completely dry. This is gonna be so cute. This one's gonna be a little bit harder. So I think what I'm gonna do with this one, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this one. I think I might do all the big stars in blue and the rest in white. Because if not, I'll be here for 20 hours. Good afternoon, my friend. I bought these and so excited. Where can we buy the stars? They actually should be available right online now, Tilly. They are adorable, but they should be online. They should be available. All right, so again, I'm just going to wax my surface. And like I said, I'm doing this just because kind of protecting the undercolor color, undercolor, yeah, whatever. It didn't come out the way I knew, but it's all good. I don't do this all the time, but for this one I am because I don't want to pull up any color. Okay, loving my wax. Love that it doesn't smell, most importantly. Okay, here we go. Let's get our big star. Remove it from it, remove the carrier sheet, right? Easy peasy, fuzz this one up too. We're not gonna do anything different. And actually I'm done with my red paste. So let me throw my stir stick in the water. Let me throw my multi-tool in the water. Now look at this, I just wanna show you that. So do you see like the, how I got chalk paste around the edges? That is actually what this side of the multi-tool is for, is you would go around your edges to remove any excess and put it back in the jar. Just an FYI, if you wondered what the other end was for on the multi-tool. It's one of those tools. It's kind of like one of those must have, my friends. Must have. Okay, here we go. Let's do our star. I feel like I should be singing while we're doing this, but I don't think you want me to do that. And I know Matthew doesn't want me to do that. Okay, let's go up, put it where we want it. And again, smooth it out so there's no air bubbles. So, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all my little stars, these, these well, not little ones, the big stars in blue. And the rest is just gonna be white. 
So let's see if I can get this done. Woo! Pressure is on. Pressure is on. Oh my, now I'm stressing. Now I'm stressing. Stressing. Look, I'm going to do this star too. I'm going to do this little star too. I'm going to do this one too. I'm just going to do all the stars. I'm just going to do them. Okay, and the rest will be white. Hopefully it works. Oh. Hmm. Yay, you're going shopping. Doing some shopping. Oh, did I tell? I don't think I said anything in our VIP group yet, my friends. We actually have some new transfers coming out next month. Next month, they're coming out. Three of them, three new transfers will be out in June. So it's going to be awesome. They're super cute. Super, super cute. And I didn't post about it yet in our group because I didn't want anybody to be like, oh, what is that? Okay, now we're gonna do our white. Now this may be a little tricky and I may end up blending a little bit of color, but you know what? I'm not even gonna worry about it. Not even gonna worry about it in the least. But I will do my best to not. Especially like, do you see these tight little areas? Yeah, that's gonna be rough. That's gonna be rough. This is where you need more multi-tools and I don't feel like cleaning my multi-tool. So I guess that's kind of like me being lazy, if you will. But I'm sorry. I just wanna have fun. Oh, see, now I got some blue over there. Oopsies. We don't want too much on there. See? I know this is like, are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? We will get done. I will get done as quick as I can, my friends, as quick as I can. So like I was saying, we do have a private VIP group if you would like to join. Uh, that's where I share a lot of fun things happening and going on and the specials each and every month in Chocotour. If you want to become a part of our VIP group, just put a hashtag VIP. As long as you're not a designer, we would love to welcome you in there. But we also have a brand new product group that is awesome and people are loving it that we share all of our ideas, inspiration, projects. And again, as long as you are not a current designer, we would also love to welcome you in there. Just put a hashtag loft in the comments and I will get you the link for that, my friends. The link for that. Oh my goodness. I will definitely be posting these in there. They're gonna be cute. They are gonna be cute. Now, if you've ever wanted to try Chocotour and maybe you want a sample, there is a link above in the comments if you're interested in checking out a cute little sample. It is approximately $8 in the U.S. or I think it is uh, almost $9.99 in Canada. So you can also check that out as well. So let's go. Let's check this out and see how it looks. Hopefully it's okay. Oh! Look at that! Oh my goodness! It's adorable, my friends! Do you see it? <gasps> tell me I'm not froze. Please tell me I'm not froze. Oh no, did I freeze? Uh-oh. Oh no, there we go. I'm not frozen, right? Oh my goodness, I thought I was froze there for a second. I think I might have been. Look at that! Look at that! Look how adorable that is! <gasps> that is amazing. Okay, now get all my tools over here in the water let me cover these up a little bit let me bring these back because we're actually going to sand the edges of these but let me dry it just a little bit more just want to dry this and i'm going to sand my edges and you'll see what it looks like. I won't make you stay on for all three. Would love to be in the group. Absolutely, Tina. I will give you the link to our group. 
absolutely. Yay, I'm so glad y'all love them. So awesome. They do, they look darling. And it was all done with the star cutouts, the star transfer, white paste, candy apple, red paste, and cadet. Okay. So here we go. I'm not going to make you sit through the whole thing. So this is what I'm going to do to give these a little bit more of a distressed look. Okay. And let me move these aside just one more time. So I'm just going to get my sandpaper. Okay. And all you're going to do is sand up your edges. Okay. So that is all you're going to do. This is how I distress everything that I do. You always like to hit your corners just a little bit more, okay? Your edges and your corners. Your edges. See, I'm not gonna make you sit through all three because this is just like tedious, but you'll see here in a second. It does end up looking really, really cool. Like if you're into that country distress type of look, And then you could just kind of take it and go across a little bit. Whoop. Do you see how it distressed them a little bit? Oh my goodness. Okay, ready? Let me clean this bad boy off and my hands and my ink mat. Oh, so cool, my friends, for real. By the way, I love our mats. They are so easy to clean up. Look at that. So it's kind of like a distressed star, right? Love distressing. So I'm gonna actually do this to all three of them, okay? So I'm just gonna get sandpaper. I'm gonna do all three of them and I will post a picture at the end. But do you not love these stars? Like, are they not just simply adorable and amazing, right? Oh my goodness, thank you guys so much for tuning in today and sticking with me here through these cute little darling stars. Don't forget, you can check everything out right online at talkingwithjen.com. Any questions you may have, please let me know. I would love to answer those. I will be sure to get you the link for the loft group. I will put that right here in the comments. And y'all, don't forget if you want to join us, join our amazing team and become a designer like myself. Just put that hashtag join in the comments and I'll get you the link to our opportunity group where you can watch a quick video. My friends, I hope you have a great rest of your Monday. Again, thanks for tuning in and sticking with me and I'll be talking with you later. Bye.